Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps April 2023 release. This is a really adorable uh, release and we're going to jump right in with the paw print shaker tags. These are adorable dies that create this shaker or layered image that is a paw print. I'm trimming off the tag part and I cut it from white cardstock, some clear packaging and a brown cardstock and I'm going to adhere that clear packaging to the brown detail piece just using some liquid glue. It'd be really easy to use the Crafty Glue Friend which is an amazing glue and it is available in the Trinity shop. I happen to be allergic to it so I yeah I can't use that. <laughs> I am using the foam strips that work perfectly with all kinds of different shakers and it's going to work perfectly with this paw print. Now if you take the backer off both sides, you can easily maneuver these strips to cover whatever area, whatever curves you're trying to accomplish. This is a nice height also. It's great for shakers. It's a little thicker than the um, great big roll of 3M foam tape that I had used for a long, long time. Now we're gonna pull out the Who Let the Dogs Out? clay embellishments. These are adorable little black and white uh, clay embellishments with little paw prints on them. That's, these are also available in the Trinity shop. Next I am adding some glue to the foam strips here. Um, I like that little bit of extra wiggle room so I can get the backing on just the way I want it. Now I'm using my fingers to make sure that's exactly where it needs to be and I'm going to put my heavyweight block on top of this to um, create a good seal all the way around and there you can see the shakers. We've got two new, two more new products here. We have the Clean Cut Layers Circle Set A. There are 24 pieces in that die set. They are anywhere from one or they start at one quarter inch and end at six inches at one eighth inch increments. And set B is 23 pieces. And that is the, um, they, they fill in the, the blanks. I also showed you the foiled burst uh, foiling plate. That is gorgeous. And this is the checkered background add-on paw print. There are so many fun new items in this release. I think you're going to want it all. I love some great basics and those circle dies, you won't ever need to buy another circle die set. If you buy both of those, you'll have every size at one eighth increments from one quarter inch all the way up to six inches. That's amazing. I am doing an entire five and a half by eight and a half inch cardstock panel here with this um, stencil. Since it is a very symmetrical or very um, even pattern, repetitive pattern, it's easy to extend this to whatever size you need it to be. Um, I'm I had inked the same colors down first and I came back with slightly darker colors and um, inked the paw prints over that. I've spattered it with some clear water and with some pixie dust. Next, I'm pulling out the Modern Embossed Edge A7 stack. I'm going to use the four and a half by six and a half inch panel. This is my favorite size, I think, currently to do a uh, card front on an A7 card or a five by seven card, which is my favorite size of card. I did take a 10 by seven inch piece of cardstock, scored it at five inches and creased it well. Now we're adhering our inked and um, stenciled panel to the front of that and the foiled burst uh, centerpiece that I die cut with the clean cut layers circles. Next we have our little shaker element centered right in the middle of that foil burst circle. Now if I'd been thinking a little head I would have put that a little higher on the card front. Here we have an oldie but a goodie. This is Puppy Party. This is a slimline stamp set with some great sentiments and some 
adorable partying puppies. It's a whole line of puppies that would fit on a slim line card in a whole bunch of different kinds of dogs. You can cut those out by hand or there is uh, to use just the ones you want, but there are also coordinating dies that cut out the entire line of puppies and the individual images that are in the stamp set. And there are dies to die cut the sentiments. We're going to use three sentiments from this stamp set with their coordinating dies. This says, you're positively amazing. Absolutely love that. I did layer some extra layers of black cardstock behind the sentiment and a little bit of extra cardstock uh, behind the word amazing to make up for the difference in height. Next, we're going to use the paw print heart stencil. These are amazing also, and the heart in the paper hugs die that came out this in this release will die cut out this heart stencil. It will also die cut the clover heart. Super excited to play with these. I just got those dies and I haven't had a chance to play with them yet. I'm so excited. Next, we're going to use a couple more sentiments from the Puppy Party stamp set. This says, um, we wish you a yappy birthday. I think this is so darn cute. And I actually gave this card to my husband for his birthday, which was this week. <laughs> Next, we're going to go on to our second ca uh, card. We're going to use the layered mug stencil set. We're also going to use the very cute layered mug die, or, yeah, die set that coordinates with this stencil. I am stenciling the main body of this mug onto a piece of blue cardstock just because that gives me a little head start on the stenciling. There are uh, negatives also for all of these stencil pieces. So I put the mug handle stencil uh, piece in there and now I'm going to use the paw print heart to stencil on these paw prints that go in all directions and have a variety of sizes. Next, I'm going to use the stencil that will add the liquid in the inside of your mug. And now I'm going to stencil through the mug handle to create that a solid color. Look at that, there's our beautiful mug. Next, I'm taking that very cute, or excuse me, barely cute layered mug die set. And on my magnet sheet, you can see that I have the add-on, which is the cat and dog add-on. The very, very cute, um, die has dies that will create the face of a bear on your mug and the cat and dog add-ons will create uh, cat and dog images on your mug. I decided to add the uh, additional mug layer here. I wanted to add a little look of dimension on here and that was super easy to ink blend and stencil again and then die cut and put it on top. We're also going to use the new stamp set World's Greatest. We're going to use the sentiments and their coordinating dies. This says world's greatest mom. And we're going to add that to the front of our card. Just going to adhere those die cut elements right on top. I did try stamping directly on the card, but I didn't like exactly the way it looks. So I moved on. Now we're going to take the catch and some rays stencils. This is an oldie but goodie. It's a layering stencil set six by six. And I did uh, this is over some I think it's uh, craft colored cardstock with a brown and a very light gray the new lost shadow. Next we're going to take the foil burst um, foiling plate again and we're going to foil this over the the stencil and I had dry fit this foiling plate so that it would center over the center of the catch and some rays stenciling and then I put some aura uh, foil on there and foiled that. Next we're going to take the clean cut layers A2 dies. Now these are there's 17 pieces in each in seven excuse me in the a set and in the B set and these the largest is four and a quarter by five and a half so perfect again an eighth inch increments all of the layerings that you're ever going to need then we took the lost shadow ink 
ink covered the piece of cardstock and then stenciled over it over it with the checkered background paw prints stencil again. I'm doing that in the inside of the card and I'm using a little hickory smoke and lost shadow to add some color variation. And I just wanted that all over look on the inside that you can easily stamp and write over. We're doing another five by seven card here. I've cut this down with the modern embossed five by seven or excuse me four and a half by six and a half inch layered die and I'm butting this up to the fold side of the card and then I'm adding the A2 size layer this is I think the four by five and a quarter inch layer that I had used the clean cut layering A2 dies for and I'm just shifting everything a little bit to the left now the mug does not center for the whole width but I wanted to center that foiling right over the front or excuse me, right over the center of the mug. Next, we're taking the new Simply Sentimental Mom stamp set. And we're taking a couple of sentiments to put that on the inside of the card. It says, Happy Mother's Day from your favorite child. And I think that'd be great for a dog mom. That is the two cards that I've created for the release. Don't forget that there is a video hop with a chance to win some prizes. I'll have instructions and a link to the next video in this blog hop in the description box below. Be sure, be sure you like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe, check that description box below for all of the products that I use today, and make sure you get entered to win a prize. Until next time, he, here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.